Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn from Vigor and Trim, a fitness and health membership site for people like you and me, 50 and over. And you are here today at Celebrating Act 2, and this is short and sweet, where I show you one exercise move and one nutritional tip to keep you healthy and strong. Now, today we're going to work on that core. Everybody always wants to work on the core. And that's okay, because without that core strength, everything else can go bye-bye, so the core is really important to work on. All right, hey, let's stop talking and let's get started. All right, we're going to be on our backs today. So I'm going to lay down on that back nice and easy. Get down the best way you know how. All right, and we're just going to get down on this back. Oh, roll it down. Oh, good. And I just rock a little right and left just to kind of get the, everything in place and make it feel real good and massage it and stuff. Now we're going to do some what's called scissors. Now we're going to keep the belly nice and engaged. We can do it this in a couple different ways. I'm, today I'm going to do it on my elbows. Now in order to do that I'm going to take my hands behind my knees and just rock and roll it up just a little bit and then put my elbows down. Okay, good. I'm going to still keep my abdominals engaged. I'm going to take those legs up. Try to get on the flat of my back. Good. I might tuck that chin a little bit. Now try to get those shoulders out of the ears. All right. And then we're just going to alternate lifting one leg while the other leg goes down. Okay. This is all there is to it. Yeah. All right. Now, if that doesn't work for you, you can also come down and hold your neck. All right. And then do it like this. Okay, so a couple different ways you can do this. Now don't go down too far because that'll make your back lift. We don't want that back lifting. We want that low back on the floor the whole time that you're doing this. Okay, so that's real important to know. All right, you want to keep those legs straight. And the last way you can do that is laying on the floor. Now I find this most difficult. All right, so I like it up to here or on the elbows. All righty, okay, now to get up, you can rock and roll it up, or we're just going to roll it over, push it up, and there we are. All right, so today's nutritional tip is about artificial sweeteners. Now, I get asked about this a lot. You wouldn't believe that, but I do, and here's the answer to that. Don't use them. That's my answer. Now, I'll tell you why. Because research shows that those artificial sweeteners can actually do quite a bit of damage. They actually um, disturb the gut microbe, uh, microbiota, and we know that that's a problem because we've talked about that a whole lot. So we have glucose intolerance. We can actually develop diabetes too, which is what we're trying not to do by using the sweeteners, right? We can gain weight. Another thing we don't want to happen, and there's even worse consequences like bladder cancers and things of that sort. So nix the sweeteners. Now you can reduce your the uh, need or the taste bud levels for sweetness. Did you know that? You can actually change your taste buds. Now it is a process, and it may be a little uncomfortable at first, but just lessen it little by little, and pretty soon you will have reset the sweetness level of your taste buds. Hey, just try it out and see. Now, you know why I do this. I do this to keep you healthy and strong so that you have a long, healthy, active lifestyle. Yeah, and you stay up there and get to do the activities that you love to do. And I'm here with you on Celebrating Act 2. This is short and sweet. I look to see you next time. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.